in the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association Relief News from Australia. Over Christmas last year and during January 2020, bushfires of an unprecedented scale affected Australia's states and territories, with the most ferocious fires roaring through coastal areas and rural townships of New South Wales and Victoria. Sadly, lives were lost, including at least 33 humans and an estimated 1 billion animals. More than 11 million hectares of land and forests were destroyed, which sent waves of dangerous smoke haze over New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territory, and the cities of Adelaide, Brisbane, and Melbourne. Association members from Canberra and Sydney centres formed a relief team to assist people impacted by the bushfires. On January 15th, a well-provisioned team with two van loads of food, cooking equipment and supplies set off from Sydney travelling over 270 kilometres down the coast to Batemans Bay. At a distribution centre set up in Batemans Bay at Mackay Park by Army Reservists, our team gave hot vegan meals to those in need as well as to the reservists. The army captain was delighted with the offer and announced that he was vegan too. Everyone appreciated the boxed meals of vegetable curry and rice, vegan cupcakes, and trays filled with rice paper rolls. It was that good that some of them contemplated becoming vegan, so credit to you guys. Thank you so much, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for feeding us. Members also left some information about Supreme Master Television, climate change and alternative living flyers, along with the vegan food. Next, our relief team headed further south to the coastal town of Bermagui. Their first stop was the Crossing Land Camp, a non-profit environmental youth education camp managed by Dean and Annette Turner. There, our team supplied the Turners with fire protection items a brand new trailer, two 1,000 litre portable water cubes, an electric pump and equipment to assist in keeping their property fire safe from the still dangerous fires in the vicinity at the time. They were very touched. Thank you so much. We're eternally grateful. It's uh, such a practical, awesome uh, gift and we really, really appreciate it. And uh, thrilled to let you know that it's raining right now. Yeah, right so, now. So thank you it's for bringing starting. the rain. Yeah, thanks for the rain. <laughs> Even further south, near Marimbula, our team delivered 3,360 US dollars worth of medical supplies to the Potteroo Palace, a native animal educational sanctuary. Several days later, our association members from Sydney made their way to the wildlife safe haven again and gave materials for temporary enclosures as well as animal crates used for transporting the animals to safety. This turned out to be very timely because soon after receiving the supplies, the sanctuary was advised to evacuate once more. One of Potteroo's keepers, John Marsh, shared the following wise words. There are a lot of people that are thinking that Hopefully, hopefully, you know, this disaster will be the turning point in our psyche and that we're going to change our attitudes to, towards our environment and, and the animals within that environment. Because, you know, the bottom line is that if we don't have a healthy environment for our animals to live in, we don't have a healthy environment for us to live in. Our relief team members are deeply grateful for Master's blessings and give thanks to everyone in the world who prayed for all the victims of the Australian bushfires. We also appreciate the caring efforts of government agencies, volunteer groups, as well as our association members for providing assistance to both humans and animals affected by the fires. May all humanity come together to embrace the earth-friendly vegan lifestyle for a safer climate and planet in heaven's merciful light. China a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Wildlife Protection Laureate supports flood-affected people in Malawi. 
the Chinese government has donated 1 million US dollars to the United Nations Children's Fund or UNICEF to ensure nutrition aid, clean water, health care and emergency sanitation to families affected by flooding. To further assist youngsters, child protection services will be provided as well as school supplies, early childhood and development kits and recreation materials. In addition, the sea surveillance will be enhanced to increase the capacity to detect, prevent and contain possible emergency health issues caused by the floods. The Chinese community in the nation has also contributed various necessities to help the families. Our grateful bow, China and other contributors. Heaven bless you and UNICEF. In brilliant celestial light, may a bright future of plenitude and happiness welcome all the gracious Malayan people. Researchers find the world is becoming more peaceful. According to a study published in the peer-reviewed scientific journal PLOS1, global rates of crimes involving deaths have continued to fall since 1990. Statistics from 1990 to 2015 showed that these unfortunate incidents in both North America and Western Europe lowered 46% per 100,000 people, while Asia experienced a 38% reduction and Oceania a 22% decrease. Explanations given for this positive phenomenon include a decline in illegal drug markets, police reform, economic improvement, increased immigration, and in particular, an aging population. The world median age has increased from 24 to 31 years, between 1950 and 2019. Research from the United States has shown that international societies with older populations have a tendency to be more peaceful and orderly. This is good news! In heaven's infinite benevolence, may human beings cherish our lives by continuing to grow in harmony and wisdom during our temporary sojourn on earth. One of the world's largest solar farms in India becomes operational. Karnataka State recently completed and started operating the Bhavagada Solar Park in Tumakuru district which spans over 13,000 acres of land and generates more than 2 gigawatts of power. Building the park began in 2016 on land that is being leased from the owners rather than purchased. Landowners will receive 323 US dollars per acre per year, which will be increased by 2.5% annually, supporting the economy of the area. Karnataka currently generates 62% of its power from renewables, with 22% coming from solar. Our accolades and congratulations, Karnataka on the completion of this impressive solar energy farm. In divine radiance, may your spiritual people be forever blessed as they continue their development of eco-friendly technology. Israel makes major investment in wind energy. Israel's energy, defense and finance ministries, as well as its electricity authority, recently signed a 72 million US dollar agreement approving the construction of hundreds of wind turbines in the northern part of the country. According to the Israeli energy ministry, the nation has set a goal to use 10% renewable energy by 2020, 17% by 2030, and be coal free by 2025. Thank you, Israeli energy ministry, defense ministry, finance ministry, and electricity authority for supporting this green initiative. As the world continues to address the urgent climate crisis, may heaven forever guide us toward a sustainable and compassionate way of life. German non-profit provides mobile shower service for people living without homes. Gobanyu, founded by 31-year-old Dominique Bloor, in collaboration with several organizations and individuals, has launched the mobile douche bus to enable homeless people in Hamburg city to stay clean at no charge. The modified bus has three bathrooms that include a shower, toilet, wash basin, mirror, toiletries, and fresh clothing. With water provided by the city, the volunteer-operated bus serves up to 30 people per day, operating four days per week at three locations. 
Mr. Blue, who also authored Under Steel Palms, a best-selling book about how he overcame homelessness, said in a video, Washing is dignity. If you are comfortable in your skin, you feel more confident to take the next step. Our heartfelt gratefulness and heaven bless you, Dominique Blue, Goban you, all volunteers and Hamburg City. In God's caring embrace, may everyone thrive in a supportive and inclusive society. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Go Ban Yo with the Shining World Compassion Award, as well as 20,000 US dollars in humble support of this benevolent endeavor. With love, gratitude, and best wishes in divine mercy. American restaurant chain adds vegan beyond meat. Polo Tropical, based in Florida, United States, recently added the popular vegan beyond meat to their menu in 140 locations. The plant-based product will be available in their vegan tropi chop dish that features black bean, rice, beyond meat, peppers, and more. In addition, the beyond meat will also be included in their vegan wrap, which contains plantains, rice, and beans. Other Florida-based food outlets have also started offering Beyond Meat recently, including Miami Grill, which has seen the vegan products now make up 25% of all burger sales. A round of applause, Polo Tropical, Miami Grill, and all other restaurants for your vegan offerings. May more restaurants adopt benevolent menus as the world transitions to the plant-based air-saving way in celestial joy. Australian native marsupials share their underground homes. During the recent wildfires in Australia, it was witnessed that species such as echidnas, lizards, skinks, and rabbits survived by taking shelter in the extensive burrow system set up by wombats, which include multiple entrances, tunnels, and sleeping areas. Wildlife carers, including Australian non-profit Wombat Rescue and Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary, have been supplying food and water to animals in affected regions and will continue to do so until there is sufficient rainfall in the area. Generous Wombat, our loving gratitude for sharing your homes with friends in need. Also many thanks Wombat Rescue, Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary, and all others working to rescue precious wildlife. God bless you. We pray that the Australian forests and the beautiful beings residing there soon recover and once again flourish on a verdant planet in the grace of the Providence. Supreme Master Ching Hai thankfully present Wombat Rescue and Sleepy Burrows Wombat Sanctuary, the Shining World Caring Award, plus 15,000 US dollars each with heartfelt love, praises, and gratitude. May all involved be forever blessed by God's grace.